gentlemen, welcome to ACW Beyond the Yard. I am your host, Derek Destroyer, the former ACW champion, because, you know, due to injuries. And I know the last episode, I had an interview with Jake Frost, the Omega, and we already discussed how I got injured during our match. But, you know, time and time has passed, and but now it's time to have another guest in this show, in this podcast, because in this podcast, we want to share these stories that we have from the yard to our fans. Because, I mean, our community is really huge, just like how Jake Frost said in the last episode. But speaking about Jake Frost, we have a guest, and this guest have held the MEBW World Champion three times. He is also two times MEBW Superstar of the Year. 2018 and 2019. He is also the number one backyard wrestler, Kersey of the Chosen Ones. He has also held the All American Champion, also two times MEBW Internet Champion. He is also, I apologize if I keep saying also, but he just has a lot of accomplishments. He has main evented Mania 3 and he is also, I apologize if I keep saying also, but this is the last one. He is the longest reigning MVPW world champion. Enough of saying his accomplishments. Let's bring him out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the best in the yard, Matt Thunder. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Lots of lots of also's there, huh? Yeah, a lot. Cause, <laughs> wow, like that's incredible. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. How does it feel to have so many accomplishments um i mean it feels good but i can't say i didn't put in in, put in any work to be here i mean yeah you got to work your ass off to be where you're at yeah man but i just want to say matt thunder thank you for being in hw beyond the yard i'm sure the fans would love this episode oh yeah i'm sure they will and uh let's get right into it all right let's kick off the first question of this podcast what got you into wrestling? What got me into wrestling, like as a whole? Um, so, I did not watch wrestling when I was a kid, like most people. I actually started watching wrestling when I was, I believe, fourteen, maybe thirteen. Wow! Um, yeah, uh, the first the first show I remember watching was some some Monday Night Raw, but it was right after. Uh, Seth Rollins got injured and had to vacate the title. That's okay. the era. I, that's the era I started watching wrestling, and I started watching it uh, because of my brother. And my brother is an MEBW. I'm not going to say who he is, but oh, it's fine. Little, it's uh, cool. There's your little tidbit of the day for people did, that did not know I have a brother in MEBW. And did you? What was your reaction when you watched wrestling? Were you like, "Holy crap! What's that?" Um. Uh, when I watched it for like the first time, like I actually sat down and watched it, I, I remember I was being like, oh, this is pretty cool. Because I've obviously heard about wrestling in the past. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't be in elementary school and not hear about like John Cena and The Undertaker. Of course, they're um, like the goats. So when, right. So when I actually gave it a chance, I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. And I like this. <laughs> nice. Um, did you like wrestling at the time? or? Uh, no, not really. I mean... I didn't like any type type of wrestling, no, not really any sports. Oh, so I mean, it was a it was a pretty good time to get into wrestling for me. Oh, that's pretty good time. Um, did you do any sports when you're in high school or something? Uh, I mean, I've done track one year, but i just wrestling for me. I w- I would do other sports, but wrestling is just the only thing that keeps me really busy in that kind of aspect. Oh, nice! Because I used to be a former runner, like cross country and track. I placed whack. Oh, really? Yeah. And the funny like part Chris is, Storm. really? Yeah, he does cross country and track and all that. Nice. And freaking my friends, we were being racist. They call me Sea Biscuit. <laughs> or no, no, not Sea Biscuit. Speeding Gonzalez. <laughs> Why'd they call you that? Because you were fast. Yeah. There and like go. the funny part is, like in our final race, like. There was one team, I don't remember, it was from Liberal, and they were being racist, be like, hey, aren't you supposed to be in the other side of the country? And like, they were just pissing me off and all that. And the funny part is, the final race, I wouldn't say I cheated, but I kind of took, I want to say a shortcut. But like, during the shortcut, there was a 
bunch of splinters and I just ran through them and oh my god, the pain I was in. <laughs> but worse pain than that knee? Uh, well, not really because I couldn't felt it because I was just running, you know. <laughs> right. And when I was running, like I overpassed them and they were like, What? What? Then like I'm how do you say place ninth place? And I still <laughs> have the, the gold. Yeah. And I told them to suck it. DX style. <laughs> did you do the DX taunt? Yeah. I did that chomp. Because, like, where I'm at in my school, like, I'm a huge wrestling fan. Like, I do the two sweet sign, you know, the NWO, you Mm -hmm. know, just a lot of things to pass by. But anyway, enough of me. Uh, What is your favorite backyard wrestling federation to watch? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, obviously, I would say MEBW, but I'm not going to say MEBW. Yeah. Um, I watch a couple federations. I'll tune into TWE, H. MEW, um, but my favorite that is not MEBW would probably have to be EBW. Nice. I mean, we've, yeah, we, we've been over there a couple times. Really, really great guys. The whole crew is just great. Um, they put on a great product. They do. They put on amazing shows. Um, did you – what was your – how did you feel when you first had your first match in EBW? Oh, an EBW. Um, yes. My first match in EBW was, I believe it was my match against Maximus Roman because I oh, had okay. another match. I had another match against uh, Executioner, which was recorded on the same day, but I believe my match with Roman came first. Um, mm. That match, that match, I've talked about this match a couple other times uh, on a different podcast with Dak Ryan, but that match was pretty special for me because it was the first time that I realized that there is other people out here that do the same exact thing we do. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to think about. We just traveled miles and miles and miles to wrestle with another federation. So it was pretty cool wrestling Max. Um, we talked about the match a little bit before. Not not much. I mean, we went out, th- we went out there for like, I think the grand total was like 36 minutes or something like that. Okay. Um, so we went out there. We talked about a little bit, but not much. And we just, we absolutely killed it, I believe. Oh, that's crazy. Um, and that, that, was, that was actually my first match against Max. I've had two. Oh, nice. Because cause Max came to MEBW, right? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've had three. My bad. Oh, yeah. Two, two in EBW, though. So you guys are tied, right? Because it's 1-1 one, one and over yes, the time? Yes, one, 1-1 one, and 1. So... Win, loss, and a draw for me. Oh, nice. You know, there's got to be a tiebreaker, right? Someday? Mm, maybe. Maybe someday, someday down the line. Yeah, we just have to wait and see. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Who is your favorite backyard wrestler? Like, who do you think Ooh, it is? Oh, okay. Besides just so you, because, is... you know. Yeah, right, obviously. Um, <laughs> my favorite backyard wrestler right now. Uh, it's funny you say that because I said this the other day to him. Ray Lantana, man. I, I love that guy. Nice. He he is just he's just so out there, <laughs> I guess you could say. Ray Lantana, great, great worker, great guy. Uh great future ahead of him. I mean, he's the all American champion right now. Oh, nice. Didn't one time you had a dream about me that I had a match against him or something? <laughs> yes, I actually texted you. Uh I woke up from a dream one day, just the most random ass dream of all time um i woke up and all i remember is seeing in my dream is Derek destroyer taking on ray lantana in a professional wrestling ring damn and I, I i remember waking up i texted you the next day i was like dude this is a weird dream but listen to this <laughs> <laughs> but like how were you watching it like were you watching it from like the tv person view or like oh i i don't even remember i think i was just there i think i was just the ringside Dang, I hope that could happen soon, you know, me versus him. Yeah, right. That would be a good match Maybe in like 10 years, that would be awesome. Yeah, probably less than that. Yeah, in a wrestling ring. That would be actually a pretty good match. What was the worst injury you ever had? Worst injury I've ever had, okay. Um, I used to not be, or used to not know how to be able to answer this question because I can't really remember most of my injuries, but um, there was one that happened over the summer. And it was a match against Chris Storm, the match where he beat me for the world championship. 
All right. Um, this is the first time the public will be hearing this, but that match was actually taped twice. Um, the first time we taped that match, uh, it was like about 20 minutes in. Storm hit me with a V trigger right, right in the mouth, and I just bit like the side of my lip open. Um, or not, yeah, the side of my side. cheek, not my lip. Um, but it was pretty gruesome. I went to the hospital. Luckily, it was nothing that like time couldn't heal, but. Uh, I mean, it was pretty bloody and gross. Damn. I remember when I got injured against Jake. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I remember that, too. I was actually uh, at my day job during that. Okay. And um, it was the weekend you were up there. And, of course, we were all excited because, you know, we wanted to see you up there. Yeah. And we just get a text from the group chat that, that have a, has a picture of, like, an ambulance. And I'm, I'm just wondering, <laughs> what, the hell, what the hell happened? Wow. And I, I guess you got injured. That's pretty unlucky, man. I know. That sucks because that was my first ever crossover. I know. It's really unlucky, especially for it to be a crossover. Yeah. And the funny part is, like, like I got injured over there, not at home. Mm-hmm. Right. Damn. The parents <laughs> like, were probably a little bit mad about that one. They were. They? Like, <laughs> like, they were like, hey, what if we do do not get hurt? I'm like, I'm not going to get hurt two days and later. And got hurt. Yeah. No, but you know how'd what they you, told how'd me? you break the news? Uh, the funny part is, I was like, "Oh shit, here we go!" <laughs> and like, I was FaceTiming them when I was in the ambulance. They were like, "So you went all the way over there just to get hurt?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah, I did. They were a bit worried because, like, I went with a friend from work, which mm-hmm. I think he was like actually the referee and process of elimination, which was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Cause like oh, in the that's future, actually a cool story. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, and he wants to be in ACW, so like we'll train him a bit in the future. Then, mm-hmm. believe it or not, after time has gone of him training, he'll be an ACW wrestler. Ooh, I Maybe know. I'll that's fly a... over there and uh, beat him in like three minutes. Oh, we'll see about that. Cause I mean, he's a big dude. <laughs> and you could probably should be see, like, should be pretty easy. I mean, uh, I got the that bigger they are, the against... harder they fall. Yep, I got that big match against Big Jack Delta coming up in about two weeks here. Oh, can't wait to see that. I can't wait to Little go down. Coming home. Of course. But, yeah, like, that injury, like, because I dislocated my knee when I was trying to powerbomb Jake. And when it dislocated, it, like, I was kind of, like, freaking out because, like, I didn't know what to do. Like, because I didn't right, want to. Right, yeah, you're in the moment. Yeah, like, I didn't want to stop the match because i mean it was my dream match against jay mm-hmm. but like i didn't want to like break in more or something you know yeah which kind of sucked just when the match was getting really good I what was that just was... right at the beginning of the match uh, i would say like five minutes in or is ten uh damn i know wasted but i mean i could still have my rematch in the future Right. It would have been awesome to see uh, what you would have done if you didn't get injured. I know. Just imagine how good that match could have been. Because mm-hmm. I was supposed to have a match with Luke Haynes at Lights Rights, Last Rights. Oh, for the title? Yeah. Well, it was mm-hmm. It was going to be a champion versus champion. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because I went over there and I defended my title against Adam Andrews in right. the ladder match. And it was a pretty good match. And the funny part about that match... I was entering the ring, and my and my left foot was in the ring while my right foot was entering because of the ropes. <laughs> and I was putting all my weight on my left foot, and Adam kicks it onto the oh, side. Yeah. And ever since, the leg was just getting hurt and hurt. And it was, like, wearing down because I had to lift them up and all that. Mm-hmm. So it was just a matter of time. So, yeah, that's the story of my dislocated knee. Who would you say would be your dream match in the yards? Ooh, in the yard. Um, are you talking about all time or are we talking like current? Well, you could say both if you want to. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, the current, that's a hard, it's a hard, uh, hard question. Because there's so many wrestlers? There's, there's a lot of wrestlers out there. Mm-hmm. Um Dream match right now. Uh, current, I got to go with Christian Archer. Christian Archer, now, that dude. 
there is there is a lot of speculation and things to be announced about the MEBW slash ATW crossover. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be the one to announce those things. Uh, just stay tuned on MEBW. Um, All right. Yeah. I was talking bad, to Christian Archer news, the other bad. day. Oh, yeah. Were you? Yeah, like I told him because this summer, well, I, I don't know because it's canceled because of the stupid coronavirus. Mm-hmm. I messaged that dude and I was like, like, like I, I would really like, love to have a match with you. And I told him that I would fly over there during the summer just because like, I wasn't just going to fly to MEBW. Like I was actually going to fly into three different states um, to BFW. Ever heard of those guys? Um, Boom Figs Wrestling? Yes. Yes, I've heard of those guys. Then you guys, MEBW and TWF. I don't think you heard of them. Uh, TWF. Yeah, it's with Caution, Ace Diamond. Mm, They're from North Carolina. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Then the other one was supposed to be on my last trip was supposed to be ATW with Chris and Archer. That would have been really interesting to see. That would have been a pretty good match. I would have popped, not going to lie, seeing you just pop up at ATW. I know. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Also, next year, if it goes well... I might even fly to Australia. Ooh. Now, that's something I've wanted to do, but plane tickets for Australia are goddamn expensive. I know. But, I mean, it's worth it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it would be worth it. First, you got to get the money, though. I know. <laughs> then when you get the money, you get the match. When you get the match, you know, you get the fans and all mm-hmm. that. But I always... Right, when you get the feedback, that's when it's worth it. It is. Because I was talking to BXB the other day, and I was like, you know what? It would be actually pretty badass if you and I had a one-on-one match. Mm-hmm. And I told them that if we go, if we do it well, we could probably get a five-star. And he was like, five-star? He kind of chuckled and he said, why not a six-star? And I was like, bet. <laughs> yeah, so we were just like imagining if we had a match. Damn. Yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Australia is somewhere I've always wanted to been to. That and like Japan. If we can find a Japan backyard wrestling company, I might have to do that next. That year. would be badass. Think about it. I might have to do that. Matt Thunder, the best in the year. <laughs> country Japan. to country. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome to think about it. What What would be your plans for twenty twenty? Uh, my plans right now for twenty twenty. Um, Recapture the world championship in about two weeks here. I'm sorry, Delta. I got to do it, man. Um, other plans. I mean, the Backyard Rumble is coming up in a few months. Maybe maybe win that again if I'm not champion. But look. Um, but I, I want to beat Delta. I want to take the championship to Backyard Mania, and I want to be the first person to successfully defend it. Nice. That's, that's the goals right there. That's um, some pretty good goals, you know? Mm-hmm. Too bad I'm uh, another to make another it. side goal. Another side goal, I guess, would be uh, that match against Christian Archer. Okay, which I am, I am hoping will happen sometime this year. This year, um, I would love to other see that, than match. that. I'm open for anything. Probably, if it goes well with my knee, probably we could probably see Derek Destroy versus Matt Thunder. Oh yeah, hopefully this summer, man. I'm really hoping. I'm just hoping too, because like. I'm not working anymore because of my job. Because mm-hmm. ever since I got injured, like, I don't know, they just yeah, come my... me hours. Oh, you're just not com- You're just not getting any hours? Yeah. Is sucks. it closed due to the freaking coronavirus? Um, I mean, it's still open, but, like, like yeah. my job's all closed come. over here. Nice. I mean, no, not nice. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> kind of nice. I enjoyed the time off. Me too. Because like, we don't have school anymore because they canceled it. Yeah, they canceled school. They might not even be coming back this year. Who knows? Wow. Yeah. I am in my last year of school, senior year. I cannot wait to get out of there. Nice. I was supposed to be a junior. Are you a sophomore? Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty easy year to skip. So oh, it lucky. is pretty easy. So I did got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> What's your thoughts on ATW? On ATW? I think ATW's, uh, I think they're pretty all right. I mean, they have a cool ring. Yeah, I see recently that they moved their setup. Um, I remember it's like some forest. I like the other one better, but it's okay. It's not. It's not a BBW. Yeah, I hear you. Um, 
Yeah, but ATW is not not bad. Lots of lots of masked people, but you know that's okay. I mean, they put on pretty decent shows. Oh yeah, Christian Archer, of course. Talk about him a little bit. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a pretty good guy. Well, pretty good wrestler, I should say. I've never, I've never met the guy yet. Me neither. Oh, speaking about ATW, what's your thoughts on ACW? On ACW, um, I don't watch a, a lot of ACW. I'll tune in here and there, like when you're From out time, there. time, okay. Yeah, like if I'll see it on my subscription box, I'll watch the video. Why not? Oh, okay. But yeah. ACW is pretty cool. Um, I hope there. Hope we see a lot more of them in 2020. Yeah, because like I wanted to, I want ACW to like be more, you know, action this year. But mm-hmm. like since the coronavirus, you know, that yeah, it is really, away. it is really halting everything right now. I mean, but, like, that can't stop us, you know? Like, we could still, like, try our best. Mm-hmm. And yeah, plus that's what once... we're trying. Right? Yeah, I mean, W, we're trying our best right now. And once the virus goes away, we could come back stronger, harder, you know? And yeah, better. for sure. Are you ready for a serious question, Matt? Ooh, a serious question. Why did you right became a backyard wrestler? Why did you become a backyard wrestler? Why did I? All right. So, um... When we first started the YouTube channel, which was the MEBW YouTube channel, um, we, we, as in me, uh, my cousins, whose name is Johnny Bruiser and Jordan Blade, who also used to wrestle for MEBW, and my brother, we started a, um, a Nerf gun <laughs> channel that okay. eventually taught, like, we, we, we just got bored of it. So we were like, you know what, let's, let's just make a backyard wrestling channel. And it eventually started off as kind of like, you know, just, it, it, it wasn't good. I'll be the first person. Like to say shenanigans? It good. Yeah, pretty much just shenanigans. And then I, I, feel I brought like that's my how friends everybody into started. it. Oh, yeah. It, it's how everyone starts. Of course. Um, and then I brought my friends into it and it got, it kind of got it a, a little bit more serious. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, we started off pretty much just throwing each other around in a, uh, living room and then went to the trampoline and then eventually went to MEVW. Because when you guys started the Backyard Federation, you guys started on a trampoline, right? Um, we originally st- the first video was in a house and then okay. the second video was in a trampoline. So, I mean, technically we started in a house, but. And when did you guys, how do you say, transition from a trampoline onto wrestling on the ground? Um, That was a pretty pretty big transition i'd say i mean because that's how old school backyard wrestling was yeah i started in the other company the the company i was in it was called hww okay um we heard we pretty much yeah we pretty much primarily uh wrestled on the trampoline Mm -hmm. um we didn't really go on the ground i mean there was no need to when we had the trampoline Mm -hmm. but eventually um EBW came around and not the new jersey EBW. this EBW is located in michigan Okay. Um, and this EBW consisted of Tommy Gunn, Tyler Adams, Jack Delta, Hunter Jones. Um, we eventually found them. We found out that we are about like five, ten minutes apart from each other. So in July, we combined channels and uh, we made MEBW. And I believe we originally started on the trampoline in MEBW and then we kind of shifted over the years to the ground and the ground it's it's just easier to wrestle on um, I feel you I mean you're not you're not slipping it hurts it hurts a fuck ton more I mean obviously but, oh I could tell like <laughs> I mean the risk you just got to put a put out there to put on a good product is is all that really matters so well you know what to say victory cannot be achieved without sacrifice oh yeah there you go that's actually perfect to put it that would be a pretty good way to put it. Like, like how did it feel when you first had your match on the ground? Oh, my first match on the ground. Um, if you can remember. Or your first times. I, I believe it was against... Um, I believe my first match on the ground was against Tommy Gunn. Or one of the people in the gun club then. Um, but, I mean, the transition then wasn't too bad because we weren't taking, like, the bumps that we do now. But All right. Um, I will give you a, I will, I'll give you a little story of the ground. Um, last okay. year, last year in February, when we made like our winter break, because we'll pre some, pre-record some stuff for the winter, so we don't have to, you know, wrestle in the cold and the snow and whatever. Well, yeah, like um, who's gonna freeze their asses? You know? Right. We don't want to do that. Uh, 
we have, but we don't want to. Okay. Um, but my first bump back on the ground last year when we came back from winter break, I hit a claymore. And, man, okay. I just wanted to lay there and just just cry in pain because that, that ground <laughs> hurt so bad. That first bump, first bump back hurt so bad. I was just like, no, I hate it. But, but it's just something we deal with. Little voice crack there. Yeah. I mean, like, at least you guys don't do, like, devastating moves. Like, wait, <laughs> do you guys do power drivers on that or no? Um, pile drivers on the ground? I mean, yeah. Delta used to do them here and there. I'll hit a pile driver here and there. Oh, okay. I, I was just checking. But, but, like, I mean, you guys have more space, more freedom on the ground than on a trampoline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ground, the or the trampoline's there to for, like, dives and stuff, and it's there for just if we don't want to take something on the ground. I hear you. Like a Canadian yeah. destroyer? Yeah, right. Like, we're not going to do that in the ground. We can't, obviously. We'll of do course. it on a trampoline. One time I saw a video where, like, someone actually – can. Uh, Someone hit a Canadian destroyer on a wooden stage. Oh God! Yeah, I know it was crazy. Um, what if you never became a backyard wrestler? That's a question I ask myself uh, pretty often. Actually, I I don't really know where my life would have spiraled if I wasn't a backyard wrestler. Um, I mean, I haven't not had a match since I've been out of high school. So every Every high school year since freshman year, I've been a backyard wrestler. So it's it's a kind of weird dynamic to think about. I wow. Like for me, like if I'd never become a backyard wrestler, like I'll just be lost because like wrestling saved my life because I was like really depressed until one day wrestling like saved me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess I could I can just say I would have been an ordinary person with a not so exciting life. I would have been boring. Imagine life without wrestling. I know, right? I can't. <laughs> that would be depressing, like the Depression era. Mm-hmm. I'd be pretty bored. Because, like, wrestling, like, made an impact to the world. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing about, like, wrestling and an impact is I wouldn't even have met people like Tommy and Delta and all of them because we met right. them on YouTube. So it's just, like, people that are pretty important in my life I wouldn't even have met. It's just crazy to think about. It's crazy that, like, how wrestling brings us together. Mm -hmm. It is really crazy. Because, like, other sports, like football, you know, like, not really just play football. Because country just brought up on wrestling, like, you guys one-on-one. Like, for example, like, let's say you and Max, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, like, had a match, and from there, you guys shared a moment. Then from there, that's what brought you guys together. Right, yeah. That is pretty much exactly what me and Max did. I mean, obviously, we were close after that first match, but that second match, we really took it home with that one. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say this, but, like, for example, Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero, like, when they first had their match in New Japan, like, they didn't even know each other. Like, they kind of hated each other at mm-hmm. one point. But, like, ever since they kept having match after match, like, they brought them close together and they were, like, best friends. Yeah, because it, I mean, yeah, wrestling, you said it best. Wrestling brings you together with people. Because wrestling is like a big family. Yeah, you need, I mean, you need to trust the other person. Mm hmm. So you kind of got to talk to him at least. It's all about trust. Because, like, you don't want to wrestle with someone that you don't trust. Exactly. Because, like, one time, I don't know if you've seen this match. Um, It was between me versus the Atomic Atom. Mm hmm. I, I don't and like, see it. I might okay. have seen highlights. But. Yeah, because they might. I made the highlights after that, and at one point, I didn't know what he was doing, and I was like kind of pissed off. I thought he was <laughs> gonna pick me up for a power bomb, but no, that son of a bitch dropped me on my goddamn neck. Not Ooh. once, but twice. Yikes! And and the thing was, it was for the ACW champion. Like, I didn't want him to win it, cause mm-hmm, like, because right. you know, like I don't really like. I don't want to let the my good wrestlers like go against him because like, what if does more harm to them than they did to me? Yeah, you got to be careful of stuff like that. Exactly. Uh, what what is one thing you can change about backyard wrestling? One thing I could change. Okay. I'm doing a little little thinking right here. So just all right, take your time. Play that um, music. Let's see. 
one thing I could change. You know, if there's one thing I could change about backyard wrestling as a whole is how it is looked down upon. Um, okay. On the actual wrestling scene. But then again, as I think about it more, it just sounds more unrealistic. Um, okay. Because not I a lot mean, of people yeah, understand it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, people don't understand it, and we're not trying to be the professionals. At least I mean, not me. Just... I'm not okay. trying to be professional. I'm, I'm here as Matt Thunder. I'm a backyard wrestler. I'll put my pride aside and say it. Um, I'm not trying to be like all the indie guys who think we're stealing their spotlight or, or their job. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if there was, was one thing I could change, it would probably be the outlook on it. I mean, like backyard wrestling, it is a sport, but like we do it for fun, you know? Yeah, exactly. Cause like, I would never do other sports. Cause like you're supposed to do something that like, that is fun to you. Like, for example, like, when you get older and you have a job, like, you want to have a job that you really have fun on instead of job Mm -hmm. of just getting bored. Because, like, a lot of people, like, they say, why do you do wrestling? It's fake. I mean, at least I'm having fun doing it, kicking ass and getting beaten and all that. Like, you, (laughs) what are you doing? The thing, the, the proof that it's just about fun and, you know, just how we're dedicated is that we will travel miles and miles and miles and spend our own money not receive any money just to go out there and put on a match. I mean, I, I right. think it's kind of special. I mean, some people, like, they laughed at me when I traveled to Nebraska. But, like, like I didn't really care because at least I was going to meet new people and exactly. have fun. Yeah, meet some friends. Go do what you love to do. That's all it's about, man. It's funny that you meet real friends in wrestling than friends mm-hmm. in the real world. Yeah, I've taken, crazy. I've taken three trips. We've gone to New Jersey twice, and we went to Georgia. And those wasn't trips, that for Civil War? Yep, that was for Civil War. That was when I met okay. UKs and the guys. Um, met Dak Ryan, Tyler Green, and all them great guys. Um, oh, nice! Great people to have in your life, man. Uh, they're doing big things at outside of the yard. They're on the Indies right now, but. They're going to be some stars in the future. They will. Can't wait for them to see them. Uh, who is the best wrestler you ever worked with? Best wrestler I've ever worked with. Um, hmm. I can't really narrow it down to like a best. Um, like, like pick who's better than someone. But I can say like who I have. The most like, fun who is looking. Like, yeah. Um, Jack Delta, he's a, he's a great guy to be in the ring with. Always protects you. Always thinks of you first. Um, nice. That's I love, pretty good. I love being in the ring with him. I Like I said, April 19th, MEVW Revolution. World title's he's coming gotta home. He's got to watch Jack out. Delta. I'm sorry. It's coming home. But uh, other than Delta, I mean, Adams, even though, he's, even though he's a dick, Tyler Adams is good good wrestler. I mean, you got to give it to him. Um, Roman, is. obviously Maximus Roman, uh, Chris Storm when he, he was in the yard. Uh, Chris Storm was always fun to work with. Um, other than that, man, pretty much, pretty much everyone. I've never really had like a bad experience in a match with anyone. Nice. Uh, if you could join any other federation in backyard wrestling, who would it be and why? Ooh, another federation. Um. You know, I'm going to say it. I'm going to join TWE. You know why I'm going to join oh, okay. TWE? I'm going to join Go TWE. Ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do is win that world championship. Nice. I'm going to win the TWE world championship. And then I'm going to defend it against everybody on their roster. And just completely kick ass down there. Because show I know I can. Show them who is, yeah. Because I know Gotta I show can. Show them who's the best. You hear me, TWE? I might have to come down there right fucking now. Excuse my language. Oh my God! Watch out! <laughs> season two. Yep, I'm coming for TWE. It's just a matter of time, right? Yeah, just kidding. I love those guys. Maybe, yeah, maybe cool. I will come there though. I don't know. Watch out. I'm just glad they came back. Oh yeah, I'm, I was excited to hear them come back. Me too. I was a huge fan of. Oh crap! What's his name? Chase. Chase. Uh, Chase Andrews? Andrews. Yes, him. 
I love his Yeah, he's a good music. wrestler. Like, Looking at you, his Andrew. attire, his face paint. Adam Elliott, he's a good wrestler. Elliott's good. Um, someone I like, Bra- uh, Braden Hosey. Hosey. I can't say his last name. Oops. Braden oh, Hosey. Oh, I know That's what you're a... talking about. Yes. I want to wrestle that guy. Give me him. Your move, TB. TWE. Fly me out, damn it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll come there. Yeah. Um, so, how would you say Matt Thunder versus Maximus Roman, Roman went? Uh, which one? Like the first the one, one. The very the first. first one. The very first one. Um, I mean, that match, after the match, we were both really, really gassed. And it was like, wow, we just went out there and put on this match. Um, mm-hmm. During that time, that was the best match I've ever wrestled. Uh, and probably the longest okay. match I've ever wrestled. So, I mean, after the match, it just felt incredible to put on something of that caliber. Nice. Would you say uh, Matt Thunder and Maximus Roman rivalry was like the backyard wrestling version of Stone Cold versus The Rock? Because, <laughs> um, I, I mean, you both one. are really uh, great. I would, I'd rather compare it to, um, I believe it was uh, Triple H and The Rock. Someone nice. snuck into someone's house, and that's exactly what I did. But so that's oh, yeah. that's the rivalry I would compare it to because I did break into Maximus Roman's house and beat him up. Didn't Max Max went to your hotel room and attack you guys as well? Yes, yeah, he went to the hotel room and beat us all down. <laughs> nice. And I I think I saw a, fo- a photo between you and Max. It was like I think it, I want to say the parking lot. It was like a. Never oh, yeah, before the, seen photo. Yeah, the never before seen one I posted on my Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple well, the never fans... before seen ones of me and Max. I'll post nice. them eventually. I mean, the fans really loved it. The fans loved it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it did get uh, number one rated uh, match of the year of 2019 by uh, the chosen one BYW on Instagram. Nice. So it did send. I would agree with them. Would you say that was your favorite match that you had in backyard wrestling so far, or or what is your favorite match that you had so far? Yeah, I mean, I'd say uh, I'd say my match against Max uh, is my favorite match I've ever had, just because right. that match made me realize like this is what I want to do for my life. I want to be a wrestler. Nice. Um, some other standout matches in my life are me versus Isaiah Wright at Civil War, uh, okay. winner take all. TBW and MEBW world titles. Nice. Um, any match I've had against Chris Storm is pretty pretty up there. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've had a lot of matches. I've had, I believe, over 170, I think. So and that's a lot. To really, to really pick one and stick with it, it's kind of hard. I mean, you could have your top 10 to 20s. Yeah, that is a list I'll have to make someday. Yeah, oh, but you're planning to have way more matches in the future, right? Or oh, absolutely. Or what's your plan? Oh, that's good to hear. Because I don't want to retire as a backyard wrestler without having a match with the mm-hmm. best in the yard. Oh yeah, me and you will definitely have a match someday in the future. We will indeed. One day, right when that knee heals up. Well, this knee will hit you right in the face. Where <laughs> is it gonna? I don't oh, know, yeah. man. You know why? Why? Because the doctor is going to give you a special treatment. Uh, doctor has uh, placed the order, huh? Oh, yeah. The order. Don't worry. I'll, I'll call another ambulance for you. I'll have it ready. <laughs> nice. Oh, you don't be fucking badass. <laughs> what? Ambulance match. Oh, yeah. With you, that'd be fun. Uh, Me and you be a fun ambulance match. <laughs> yeah. Just think about it. Oh, my God. It looks like Derek the story is going back to the hospital. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right back on the stretcher. A stretcher match as well or something like that. <laughs> if you could have any match in, in MEPW, what match would you have that you guys have never done before? Steel Cage. Nice. I, I think we I did a steel cage a steel once. Steel cage match so bad. But I want it to be like an actual steel cage. Why don't you guys get like a dog cage or something? Or is that too small? Um we thought about it. <laughs> but it was like it's just way too small and it would look a little odd. You're right. 
But yeah, I mean, or, if I could have a steel cage match match one day, that would just be incredible. That would be incredible. Probably like a skate park or something because they have cages. <laughs> right. Yeah, I thought yeah. about that too, but I don't want to take a bump on the concrete. Oh yeah, you're right. Those are nasty. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna be like Mick Foley, you know. I mean, Mick. Foley, <laughs> I love Mick Foley to death. Like, he's a really great wrestler. He inspired great me wrestler, to be a wrestler, but he is a crazy bastard. He is. Wasn't he like at the age of sixteen or seventeen? He jumped off his roof. Oh, I mean, probably it's Mick Foley. Yeah, I remember I was watching a video one time. It was like cartoon and all that. It was like predictions. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those guys or now? Um, do they have like three minute, like four minute shorts? Yes, and they make. I like... think I think I have seen them, and they do like predictions for WWE and all that. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I know one. exactly what you're talking about. There was one between them. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte in a hell in the cell. Mick Foley, he was like, this is what your body's going to do to you. He climbs on top of the cage just to jump off. <laughs> just to jump off. Sounds like Yeah, him. he's like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> but dang. Well, uh, what would be your own G moment? Like, that you ever Like, of my career? Oh, that I've ever, like a move I've ever taken? Yeah, like if um, if you were placing it as a game, like you know how in WWE, like they have like OMG oh moment? yeah yeah right, like that. Okay, like if I can make an if I can make an OMG moment of one of my moves, it would be the uh, the crunchy I gave Chris Storm off of the trampoline. Dang! I lifted him up on my back and just dropped him on his head. Jumped off the trampoline, dropped him on his head. Oh, now I remember. Yes, y- you remember that clip. Yes, I remember. Uh, my good friend Apache King, who's not really like my friend. I, I, He's whatever. a fan. Apache King, great. Yeah, great fan, great guy. Yeah. My friend. I'm gonna call him my friend Apache. You're my friend now. He is um, a good friend. I think I think that's one of his uh, favorite MEBW spots of all time. So nice. Speaking about Apache King, he he told me to ask you, how does it feel to be a living legend and have so many fans? Um. I mean, all the fan support is amazing. Like, I, I never would have in a million years thought I'd be getting support, especially from backyard wrestling. So, I mean, the support that I do get, it's it's my favorite thing about it. I mean, when I go look at comments, that's that's my favorite thing about being in a in a YouTube video is reading the comments that follow. So, all the support is just incredible. I mean, I know we might not have fans like around the arena, but in a way, they're still communicating with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we ha- we've been doing no crowd shows since the start. I mean, WWE and AEW had to learn how we've been doing it. Yeah, <laughs> they learned from us. <laughs> yeah, they learned from us. Yeah, we got a trademark in next time. Yeah, I mean, AEW has already taken two of our things we've used. So true, true. They've used uh, so far. They've used Revolution as one of their pay per view names, which we've been using that for yep. about three years. Um, and then they also used the Gun Club, which is pretty pretty basic, pretty common. So I mean, it is obviously it's a coincidence, but it's just funny. Um, I remember one time I I had a dream where like I could make my own f- fiction. I think that's what you say it, right as a team, fiction or. Uh oh, faction, faction. Yeah, faction. Yeah, faction. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, the team was called the Broken Colts, mm-hmm. and it was just a bunch of heels and all that. Oh, it was just a bunch of heels. Yeah, like a Matt rebel. Thunder in twenty nineteen would have been in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could bring it back. I mean, we could bring it. Like, <laughs> right. No, no one has ever used Broken Colts. That is. That actually does sound pretty cool. It does. It sounds trademark, like a uh, like a Western faction. It does. Oh, yeah, you yeah. better you better cut that out before AEW takes it. <laughs> we will. <laughs> um, you know what I would love to have in this show? What's that? Maximus Roman. Yeah, you gonna ask him? I w- I I would love to ask him. I just don't know how. Maybe if the fans somehow tell him, "Hey, you should check mm-hmm. out ACW Beyond I mean, the I, Yard." I got his number. I could just text him if you want me to. Yeah, that that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> I'll let him, I'll let him know I did it, and I'll uh, I'll text him and be like, "Yeah, you should be on this podcast." However, uh, he did mention the other day that he wants to start doing podcasts soon. 
Oh, okay. I would love to be in it. You so know? maybe maybe he'll have you on his. You never know. That would be actually pretty decent. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But if he ever if he ever appears in Beyond the Yard, I would literally shit my pants. Would you? Yeah. Because, like, I kind of huh? looked up to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, like, Max is awesome. Um, he is. He looks like a pretty chill Google dude. Uh, da- back in like 2017, like early 2017 or 2018, I can't remember which year, but okay, be- before um, MEBW really started to take off, uh, I remember watching EBW and I remember watching Max, and I believe they were in their basement at the time. Mm-hmm. And when I when I got to the arena, I remember going into the basement. And it was just like one of those one of those weird moments, almost like deja vu kind of weird, right. like where you're just like, whoa, I'm really here. Like I'm in this basement right now that I've seen like a year before I've actually been here. So it, being in being in the EBW basement was kind of one of those weird feelings, but cool feelings. Like that was almost the same reaction I had when I went to j and Like I arrived to the yeah, arena right. and I was like, oh, my God, like I just couldn't stop saying, oh, my God. Right, yeah. Uh, when uh, Max came here, we picked him up from the airport in the morning, and uh, mm-hmm. we brought him back to the MEBW arena, and that's all he said too. It was just like, "Wow, like this is actually it." And obviously, the tarp wasn't out there, so it looked different. And he was like, "Okay, well, I, I didn't think it actually looked like this. I thought it'd look a little different." And then uh-huh. when we did, when we did put the tarp out, he was like, "Wow, this looks exactly like how it does in the videos." Yeah, because like if you think about it, it's like going to a wrestling event. Like, yeah, right. Go- like, you don't actually expect to see it, and then you do, and it's crazy. I know. Like, you don't hear the commentary, but, like, you still see the action. Mm-hmm. And when you watch it back again on TV, like, it just feels different. <laughs> right. Yeah. I remember I went to a, the Monday Night Raw when it was um, Rey Mysterio versus Andrade in a ladder match. Mm-hmm. And I could just say that match should have been the main event. Oh, yeah. A ladder match should always be the main event, I feel like. But I can't believe um, Ray Mysterio has been wrestling more than 30 years, and I'm correct. Yeah, I can't believe he's still wrestling. That guy is old. Because I know he started wrestling at the age of 12. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Starting that young. Yeah, that would be crazy. Starting at 12 and then becoming Ray Mysterio. Yeah. You know what Ray Mysterio kind of reminds me of? Who? Um, I don't know how you say it. I always say this wrong, but it's the Ninja Turtles. Oh, you, which one? Uh, you know how the you know how the rat teaches the turtles. Mm-hmm. Is it the rat? Yeah, like because he teaches oh, the turtles expensive. by teaching the turtles. Like the turtles could be like Andrade. That. Um, oh, what's... I get it. Yeah, yeah you know, it. like those Mexican mm-hmm, wrestlers cool. from WWE. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the rat's name. I haven't watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I don't even know how long. I can't think of the rat's name. Mhm. <sighs> Damn. That makes me mad. I'm going to have to look it up after this podcast. Ninja Turtles. Wait, I think I found it. You found it? S- Splinter or Splinter? No, Splinter Splinter was the villain, I think. No, that's right? Shredder. Shredder is Oh, that. yeah, you're right. Splinter was the was the rat's name then. It was. I thought Splinter was the villain. Wow, I need to watch. I kind of want to watch TMNT now. Me too. I can't believe we're just <laughs> getting old in general. All right. Uh, do you have anything to say to the ACW or the backyard wrestling community? Um, I mean, thank you for all the support. Make sure you tune in to MEW uh, Revolution on April 19th. And this is to all the actual backyard wrestlers out there. Just keep doing your thing. Just like how I told Jake the other time. Um, also, remember, do not be the next person. Be the first you. Yep. Be the first Cause, you. Because I remember one time there was a kid who was kind of calling you out. He, he was thinking he was the best in the yard. Yeah, I, I remember that kid. He changed his Instagram name to, like, best in the yard, too, and all that. I know. I mean, like, I don't get why, like, some people do that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, why do they want to get fame from someone else's? Yeah, right. Make a name for yourself, man. Yeah, like, you ain't going to get far. So, Matt Thunder, I just want to say thank you for being in ACW Beyond the Yard once again. I hope we could have Maximus Roman in a future episode. And 
I just want to say thank you once again. And hopefully once I am 100% well, I could fly to MBW and kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for having me. It's been a great time. And uh, we'll see about that. I don't know if I'll, I'm in for an ass kicking. You though, you though, you definitely are. Well, so you, you get your little plane ticket. Special treatment. You come out here. I'll see you uh, hopefully soon, Derek Schreier. Yeah, we'll see you. I hope I could have you in the show more often. Oh, yeah. See you, everybody. All right. Thank you, ACW and Backyard Wrestling.